Hi, it's Fat Cat Scooter Glenn here, and I'm talking about installing a Fatco crash bar. They're made in Italy. The quality was really good, but it can be a little tricky to install. I want to mention I purchased these from SIP Scooter Shop in Germany. The price was really good and uh, got here in about three or four days. I installed this on my GTS 2017 Super. Um, I highly suggest you remove the reflectors. Uh, it'll make the install much, much easier. Uh, there's a very specific sequence to installing this and it's not hard. You just need to know what it is. But basically you're going to remove the cowls, the plastic cowls on the side of the wheel. Then you're going to install the brackets. Uh, then you're going to put the cowl back on and uh, then put the final rear screws on. You need th at least three T-Star sockets and these uh, some other simple parts, but you need some T-sockets to do this. To start, you want to remove the cowls and then when you remove them, there's some 10 millimeter bolts on the other side of the, uh, of the plastic cowls. Uh, basically, you're going to do this for each side. Uh, here, I'm starting uh, with, I believe, the, uh, the left side of the bike. Uh, you're going to take that 10 millimeter screw off, then you got to take this, uh, this screw off. And then, carefully, you're going to remove the cowl. And you want to work it from back to front. And the reason is because there's some clips in the front. By the way, that's the air filter right there. So if you haven't cleaned or changed your air filter in a while, now it's a good time to take an extra few minutes and do that. Notice again, those clips I was talking about, they're easy to break off. Now we can do the same thing on the right side. Again, underneath there's a 10 millimeter bolt. Uh, you can take that off. I do suggest you buy yourself a short socket. Makes reaching in there so much easier. And again, this is with a T20 uh, socket, a star socket. You're going to remove that screw off like you did on the other side. And be very careful to work from back to front because you don't want to replace those clips or you're going to have to replace those cowls. Now you actually have to switch to a T30 star socket. You're going to see that there's a big uh, screw that's exposed now on either side and you're going to want to take that off. That's where you're going to mount the one of the two brackets that's going to be what I call the front bracket. And I believe uh, this is the right side of the bike. There's a bracket for the left and the right side. Again, you'll see here that it just doesn't fit and you can't install it correctly if there is a, uh, if the reflectors are installed. Uh, so you can just take the back of the cowl and you can just really snap them off and a little gentle wiggling and you'll get them off. So now you're going to simply reattach the cowl carefully working front to back and it should snap into each hole. And you want to be careful here. You want to just take your time and when you attach the, the washers, the bolt and the nut to the, this is the front bracket. And looking up here, just attach it loosely. And you, by the way, you're going to use a T25 star point ratchet. That's what the bolts are that are included. So there's actually three different T25s you need for this install. And when you have it loose, then you're going to go around to the back and attach the back bracket that's on the crash bar to the 10 millimeter bolt and tighten it up and you see here I'm using a short ratchet and it's going to make your life a lot easier if you have a short ratchet and then to finish you just continue on to the other side you're going to reattach the cowl and the screws loosely attached as we talk about uh, the 10 millimeter uh, bolt you want to tighten up and basically you're done at that point I hope this helped and overall I thought it was a great product